born in Inglewood, California, moved to Altadena, which is next to Pasadena, in 1941. The influence as far as music is concerned was my mom. I went through all through junior college in Pasadena, John Muir High School, Pasadena City College, and then I went to UC Santa Barbara. My uh, evolution into jazz happened because I really couldn't handle playing legitimate trumpet. I, I, they just, it didn't interest me. I have two uncles, both of whom played in um, the military, uh, music in the military bands. One played cornet and the other played trombone. And uh, I couldn't tell you exactly how uh, I ended up with the cornet and Alan, my brother, ended up with the trombone. But that's how it started. I think I was uh, nine or 10 when I first started playing uh, on my uncle's Silver Holton Cornet. My brother and I were in a band starting when I was in the eighth grade. Uh, that band actually got me started in interested in jazz and in, 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 ba in bands. And then in junior college, we had a roaring big band uh, the whole time I was there. All the old Glenn Miller stuff and Tommy Dorsey, Jimmy Dorsey, all those, all the stuff that was published at that time. A trumpet player that, that probably was inspirational to me, even though it was a far different um, type of music was Rafael Mendez, just like everybody else in my era. Uh, Ray Anthony was an inspiration, Harry James, of course. And I, I, I got the Kenton infection in the mid fifties. And that was it, it was over with. And uh, from that time on, if somebody would ask, oh, who's your favorite band? Who do you like? What band would you like to play in? It would always be Kenton. How did you get into the Kenton band? My brass instructor, Dr. Faulkner at Santa Barbara. I'm in my last semester at Santa Barbara, which ended up in January of 61. And Dr. Faulkner called Stan and he says, I got this kid who thinks he'd like to be in your band. And he had, anyway, so Stan said, well, send him down. And they're rehearsing this new music. And it scared me because my, my weakest part as a trumpet player was suddenly exposed and that was sight reading. We played music I'd never heard and we were playing arrangements that were written for this mellophonium band. I didn't do very well. At least my own assessment was that it was uh, less than sparkling. And so I was offered the one remaining open chair in the mellophonium section. So I took the horn home and spent the next couple of weeks trying to retrain my ear from B flat. Trumpets in B flat, the mellophonium is an F. So I went out on the road, uh, starting in March of 61. And in by three months, I was playing lead. I did a lot of recording with the band. And, and one of the albums, uh, the Kenton West Side Story was a Grammy Award winner. The Kenton Christmas was an Academy Award or a Grammy Award winner. I was the first president of the Spokane Jazz Society. Talk about a bad decision. <laughs> In fact, all of, all the members of the board were musicians. <laughs> Another one of the great things that happened to me when after I came here was I got to play with the jazz orchestra and, and also just as a, an ensemble behind an incredible list of uh, guest artists, vocalists, and instrumentalists who have come to Spokane, and that's that was always a lot of fun.